if both the Prince and Princess of Wales want to move on from the Mother's Day photo editing row and shut down cruel rumors on social media, PR expert has suggested a key move that could do exactly this. The picture was released on Sunday to reassure the public amid escalating conspiracy theories online over the state of Catherine's health in recent weeks, but the editing controversy has done little to dampen chatter on social media. The princess has clearly had a very nasty operation, and it has come at the end of a very difficult and destabilizing period for them both. And there is no doubt that the public has huge affection for them both and for their children and plenty of empathy for the challenges they face. By offering her apology, the princess appears to be taking full responsibility, which, for someone still convalescing from major surgery, does seem grossly unfair. Her apology is obviously heartfelt, but her explanation simply won't do. This was no snapshot destined for a family photo album, but an image that was going to be shared with the world in a bid to crush the speculation about her health once and for all. This matters because the failure to provide any clarification has allowed the rumor mill to go into overdrive. And there's only one way to put an end to it, come clean about what's really going on. According to a PR expert, the Princess of Wales should make one strategic move that could shut down cruel rumors amid a photo editing row or risk drowning in a quagmire of their own making. It is understandable how the photo row has sparked a PR crisis. My advice is that in times like this, the only solution is transparency being open and will help limit any damage. I would advise that William and Catherine should proactively address the situation instead of relying solely on photos or written statements, a video message directly from herself expressing thanks for the get well soon messages whilst she doesn't need to say what has been wrong with her showing her talking would help. One day Catherine will be our queen and Kieran, the director of media PR Global, added that the reality for the princess is as time goes by, interest in her will only get bigger. I imagine that her public engagements will be off the table for a while until she recovers, so it is unlikely that she will be seen engaging with the public directly. But I think to end the rumors once and for all, she may need to be seen on video talking and thanking people for their concerns. Whilst there have been calls from experts and the public alike for Kensington Palace to release the unedited image, they haven't yet do so, leaving speculation and conspiracies about the Princess of Wales' health growing in some corners of the internet ever more intense. Within hours, the story of the deep fake royal picture was headline news and even the BBC made it the lead item on its website. Royal editor Chris Shipp noted that you've got Reuters, AP and AFP all saying kill this photo. One said they had concerns about it being manipulated. Another said there were some editorial concerns in post-production. Equally, U.S. news organization CNN has said that they are now examining all other photographs that have been issued by the royals, so whilst Chip may be correct that this was the first kill order issued on a royal photo, it may not be the last. Last night, an investigation of the metadata on the image by Sky News suggested it has been edited twice, once last Friday evening and again the following morning. It was not clear, however, what was actually changed. Sister Act, Star Whoopi, has hit out at the scandal and said everyone is guilty of editing speaking to her fellow panelists on The View, she said.